I don't know about you, but I love writing on rainy days. I'm so excited that it's raining today because I have so much writing to do. I'm ready to get started. Day 12, you guys, it's day 12. I have one week to finish my book. I have so many chapters that are not done, that need to get done, and I have holes to fill. Based on my massive amount of plotting and reworking yesterday, there are tons of holes. I would bet I have at least 30,000 words that I need to get written in the next few days. It is going to be insane. But don't worry, this is often part of my process. I have been here before. This is nothing totally new to me. And I, you know, I've said this before, it's sometimes a hard thing to share because nobody wants to admit they're working up to the last minute to make the book good enough. But at the same time, it is what it is. And this is my process. So welcome to the crazy house. So I've got my desk set on standing mode. It is 9.30am. And I'm going to work straight until 11.30 this morning morning. My husband has just put the baby down for a nap. So I have no excuses. It's time to write. My goal for the day is to kind of clean up those first 10,000 words. And then I've got some new writing to do on the back end. I'm hoping to finish act one tonight before I go to bed. So I'm going to take you along on the process and update you as I go. I am so excited, like you saw in the intro, that it is raining today because I love to write in the rain. There's just something magical about that feel of being cozy. I even have my like cozy slippers on right now. And I am just super happy about that energy. I feel good. My back is feeling better for the first time in days. I was like alternating cold and then hot therapy. And I had a couple glasses of wine last night to just kind of unwind and relax. And I really feel like that helped me like get some tension off my shoulders. So I'm ready to work. It's going to be a long day, but I'm ready. So let's get going. Okay, quick update. So we are about to make and eat some lunch. And let's see, it is 1154. So I have been working pretty straight for about two hours. And I got 5073 words. Um, but they were not all new words. So this is like edited versus new stuff. So I added about 475 words to the manuscript. I'm going to go count it up exactly what was new, but it's a little bit less than 500 new words. And then the rest of it was edits. So I'm going to kind of untangle what I can count as new words and what's edits. And I had really hoped to get a lot farther in those two hours, but I'm feeling pretty good about getting a good start. And now I'm going to go eat some tasty lunch and then get back to it this afternoon. Okay, guys, it's 3 p.m. and it's actually 3.08. And even though I put the baby down for her nap at 2.30, she's still up there screaming. So I'm going to give her about 15 more minutes. But that has been my afternoon. We um, took a break for lunch. I got a little bit of editing done, but I didn't really get any new words. And then I was with the baby pretty much the rest of the afternoon. And now she's still not going to sleep. So I just lit my candle and was like, okay, I'm just going to give her a few more minutes. So we'll give it 15 minutes of some work time. Hopefully once my husband gets home, he can take over for a couple hours until dinner. But I am still sitting at just over 5,000 words on the manuscript, like the reboot. And this book is about 97,000 words. So as you can see, seven days, 90,000 words left to go. So I've got some major work to do. It has been pouring down rain almost all day. I am feeling that kind of afternoon slump. So I'm going to try my best to get some words in. I just went and grabbed some San Pellegrino, some icy cold <laughs> drink, and I'm going to work for 15 minutes. And hopefully at that point, she will have cried herself to sleep. If not, then I will go get her and let her play in here. Though I don't think that's going to make for great writing time, but we will see how it goes. <laughs> All right, just a quick update and let's go again. Hey. What's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, 
darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Okay, quick check-in. It is now 3.57 p.m. and the baby did actually go to sleep for a little while and then my husband got home and now he has gotten her up. So I think she's out of the crib now. <laughs> but I got a full, almost a full hour in. My son is eight years old. He just got home from school and he, of course, always has to come in and tell me about his day, which I am more than happy to hear about and excited to talk to him. But man, <laughs> when you're on deadline, you're just like, can I just have a minute? I need to finish this scene. So I was trying to like type while talking to him, which wasn't doing me any good. So I did send him off to finish his homework. And I am now at 8,217 words, some of which actually about 1,100 words of which is new words. So that puts me around 1,600 for the day. And, you know, 6,000 or so um, for my edits, but I'm just going to count the new words too. And I'm going to try to get another sprint in. I've been standing up here. I've got my little fuzzy slippers on and I am standing up and I've been doing that for a while. So I think I'm going to put this desk down. I just have to hit the number two and it just nicely glides down. This is an uplift desk. And I got this at the beginning of the year and I love it so much. It's so helpful to be able to go up and down. I'm going to try to get this next scene edited before five o'clock. And then I'm probably just going to order something for dinner tonight so I can make it easy. We've been ordering a lot of like Uber Eats and Postmates. <laughs> if you want to support me too, and also get a free meal for yourself, I will go ahead and put my Uber Eats and my Postmates um, code down below. I know for Postmates, you can get $25 off your first delivery if you have not used them before. And there's a similar deal for Uber Eats. So that also gives me $25. I would love your support if you want to use it and you have that available in your area. I've been using it way too much and I just tell myself that I'm supporting the local economy by supporting businesses that otherwise would not have um, any customers in COVID-19 and of course supporting the delivery drivers who are able to work thankfully during this pandemic. So <laughs> that's how I justify it but probably not eating the healthiest foods most days. I keep telling myself I'll get back to a healthy diet in January but for now it's all about this book. So I'm going to keep writing and I'll update you at five o'clock. Okay, a little bit of an update. It is now 539 and I have not only sent a couple of newsletters out, I have also finished um, that next chapter and written another few hundred words. So let me check. I had to go look at the Nano website because I've been keeping track of which words were new and which words were old edits. So I'm now at 11,362 on my manuscript and 2,522 of those are new words. So I'm doing pretty good. This is what my nano progress looks like. So it's not a zero day, which is awesome. So there are the 25, 22 words that I finally added and feeling pretty good about it. It's like, oh my gosh, this is finally coming together. And I really needed this. <laughs> I was seriously to the point where if it didn't start coming together today, I was just going to have to push my pre-order back and I'm like just skating by. So I just ordered pizza and now I'm going to spend some time with the family before I get back to work tonight. Okay, as the day goes on, my hair just gets more and more flat. So we had dinner as a family, watched a little bit of Star Wars, which we're watching and introducing our eight-year-old son to because he just needs, it was time, <laughs> he needs to understand. Um, and then I just uploaded my day 11 vlog, which took uh, a couple hours to edit and get out. So now I am ready to write again. I am still sitting at 11,362. And I'm really hoping to get to 15,000 words tonight. Some of it will be edits. And probably most of it will be totally new words. So it's going to take me probably at least two or three hours to get it done. I have started in on some wine because I just feel like I deserve it after some hard days working. And I also rated my son's Halloween candy stash. If you've been around with my channel for a while, you know that I used to eat absolutely no sugar. And 
I need to get back to it, but it has been such a hard thing to do in 2020. And I feel like <laughs> I have really leaned on food and sugar and just, uh, yeah, food in general this year. So I will work on my health and my body and all of that sort of thing in January. But for now, I will have some M&Ms and get to writing. So I will update you guys in a bit. One last update of the night. It is now 11 p.m. and I am fading fast and I'm just starting to not get any words, very diminishing returns. And I'm just not going to push myself right now because I know I have a hotel for the next three nights and I'm going to be pushing myself plenty at that point. So I'm going to go upstairs and call it a night, do a little bit of reading, finish my wine and get some sleep. I ended the day with an additional 1,103 words. So my total word count for Nano so far is 25,275. So halfway to the 50k and halfway through the first act of re-edits. I really wanted to be all the way through the end of the first act, but so far none of my plans for this book or for this nano are really working out, but I can at least be proud of myself that I've hit halfway through the 50k and uh, yeah, I think I'm probably going to blow past the 50k if I meet my deadline um, just because there's going to be so much words to write and I do still hope that I'm going to get back to the witch's door before this whole thing is over. So um, I will see you guys tomorrow with another vlog for how my Friday goes. And then over the weekend, I will play it by ear because since I have the hotel for those three nights, I may or may not be able to edit vlogs and get them up. But if I can't do that, I will either go live or let you guys know and post in the community tab that there will be kind of a recap vlog going up on Monday instead. So I'll keep you updated. Whichever way it ends up, I am wishing you guys the best. If you have it written today, make sure it's not a zero words day. If you can help it, sit down and do one sprint on me and keep the encouragement going in the comments. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. I love it when it's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright